Web scraping is basically about extracting pieces of data from web pages. In this video, we will see how to use Scrapey to extract data from this website, quotes.toscrape.com slash random. Our goal here is to extract the text, the author name, and the tags from the quote presented here. As you can see, every time we reload this page, a new quote is shown, so you shouldn't expect to get the same result every time you scrape this page. Alright, let's get started. First of all, we have to understand how the data is structured in this page. To do that, I will inspect the page using my browser's developer tools. Let's start with the code text. As you can see, it's represented by a span element marked with the text class. The author name is found inside a small element with the author class. And finally, the tags are represented by anchor elements. This is the very first step, identifying where the data we want to extract is located inside the page. Now, we are going to see how to use Scrapy to extract this data from here. To do that, we'll use Scrapy Shell, which is a very handy tool to experiment on how to get the data we need. Scrapy Shell downloads the page from the URL we just passed and provides us with a response object that we can use to access the data from the page. For example, response.txt gives us the whole page content, as you can see here. We can use the response.css method to select which parts of the page we want. We pass a CSS selector as a parameter and it will return the elements matched by this selector. Now let's get back to the browser. You might remember that the author name is represented as a small element with the author class. So we can use the CSS selector syntax to fetch the author with the small.author selector. As you can see, the method returned a list-like object containing selector objects inside. We can use the extract method of such an object to get the actual HTML data that we selected. As you can see, we got a list of strings as a result. However, there are two more things to do here. First, let's get rid of the HTML tags surrounding the author name. To do that, we will change our selector a bit. We will include a double column text and it will extract the data that we want. Second, we want the result as a string and not a list. To do that, we can extract only the first element of the list as I did, or even better, we can use the extract first method. Like this. Great, now that we have the author's name, let's go back to the browser and see how we can select the quote text. It is represented as a spun element with the class text. So we can use a similar uh, selector to extract the data using our scrapy shell. We just have to adapt it using span.txt. And here it is. And now let's look for the tags. The tags are represented as A elements with the class tag. So the CSS selector is going to be A.tag. It returned a selector list, so now let's extract the data from there. We got the actual tags, and now let's get only the tags inside the tag. That's it, here we have the tags for this quote. That's it, we've just seen how to extract data from a page. In the next video, we will see how to build our first scrapy spider using the selector we just built. Stay tuned!